this pretty much can be a landmark case about every state's ability to rather defend its laws in federal court. That's exactly right. That that this is a case um, a, in at its base about the sovereignty of a state to be able to determine who gets to decide, who gets to represent that state on legal matters. I mean, that's why uh, you were elected as attorney general to defend our laws. Uh, that's exactly right, Randy. And so, the, and the General Assembly has said repeatedly uh, in statute that the AG's office works as a failsafe, meaning that if, regardless of what any other agency or what the governor's office decides to do, that in terms of defending the laws of the Commonwealth, that responsibility, again, as a failsafe, resides in the AG's office. So we are taking that responsibility seriously, and that's why this case so important uh, to Kentucky and really all of our uh, all of our states. And really, if you happen to win your argument before the Supreme Court, your work really just starts, right? <laughs> it's just beginning, my friend. It's just <laughs> beginning. Yes, we will be right back in the Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals asking again for that, that second bite at the apple, if you will, uh, to continue defending House Bill 454.